That was officially my first grocery kind of purchase that I've made in the US. And it was a total of the first supermarket that we're going to is Target. I kind of want to go to three different places. The last one being what I think will be the most popular one for grocery food items, which is Walmart. I'm going to save that one for last because that will be the best. Starting with Target because Target doesn't have everything that you need for groceries, but sometimes you find really exciting things. So we're gonna start here. A lot of you guys have warned me that Target is where you spend a lot of money. Try not to waste your entire bank account in one transaction challenge. <laughs> I'm expecting expensive, but I kind of just want to get like a few like novelty items. I'm going to try and rate each supermarket that we're going to. I'm going to take into accountability the variety of products, the price. I'm just going to try to come up with a scale, if that makes any sense. So first stop, Target. First interesting thing about my shopping experience, the shopping carts are kind of in the wild. This is like BBC Wildlife shopping cart edition. In Europe, you would be arrested for that but it just kind of makes my life easier. So thank you, America. There's a place to put your coffee. Wow, this is the greatest country in the world. The American dream. Which side is the entrance? Which side is the exit? I think we can enter through either side. Another new thing that I'm learning. Damn, how many people work in this store? A hundred? Three hundred thousand? We picked a really busy time to come to Target, but it will be fine. I'm just going to ignore people and expect a mutual ign ign ignorance, ignorement. We picked kind of an unfortunate time to do this. There are a lot of children, Karens, everything in between. Actually, I would go and say the whole of America is shopping at this Target right now, but it will be fine. I'm not really looking for like the basic things, like the rice, pasta, things like that. I'm looking for like really exciting items that like are new to me because I want them and that's enough reason. I'm kind of looking for like refried beans. I'll probably buy that at Walmart. I've never eaten refried beans. I don't know why I said this. <laughs> Those basic things, I'm gonna probably get them in Walmart later because I will save money. We're just looking for fun things. This is the best kind of grocery shopping. I think this is exactly why people come to Target, but feel free to correct me in the comment section. It never stopped you before. Carrots and the ones, guys. This is new. Microwave mashed potatoes. Okay, I knew this was gonna be tempting. I didn't know it was gonna be this quick. Red in one minute? I kinda want it. <laughs> they have different flavors as well. You know what? Um, I'm here for like crazy items. This is very much what I'm here for. Um, hamburger helper? What does he help with? Mental health? I'll take the whole roll. There's a Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Deluxe, as if you could improve the normal one. And it's heavier than the normal one. Is this microwavable? No. Immediately no, let's go. These Cracker Barrel products are really like tempting my bank account. Everything's tempting me. And, oh my God. No, and his mac and cheese almost crushing me. I just want to say that I think I invented this. <laughs> Where is my cut percentage? I swear I've invented this on my videos. Cheetos, you are going to court. 149? That's a good price for mac and cheese, right? 55 cents? What is this made with? Oxygen? How could you make mac and cheese for 55 cents? Pretty good. Immediately grab my attention. It's a dip and crunch. I swear this was on my list of products that I felt like should exist and I didn't know existed yet. You dip whatever it is that you're eating, like a sandwich, and then there's a crunchy bit on top for like texture. How could I not? I'm gonna have to transfer funds from my savings account. So this is like broad. I'm good. More canned stuff, canned soups. Okay, so this is the refrigerator section and the frozen section, which these are usually the place where I buy most things, especially frozen food, because I don't want the pressure of having to eat things when I buy them. So this is where I buy most of my groceries. But once again, we're here for novelty items only. 
That's a lot of cheese section. That's a big cheese selection. <laughs> Wait, let's do this thing where I'm gonna go backwards and I'm gonna pretend like I'm going forward, okay? Reverse this and I'm gonna try to act normal. Cheese, 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 triple cheese. I feel like America could do better. What about a quadruple cheese? Four state cheddar, that's what we're talking about. Four different types of cheddar in one. I mean, it's probably gonna melt <laughs> by the time I get home, but you know, I love fondue. But these cheddars are wild. Look at the color of that cheese. This is past yellow. This is into orange territory. I want my cheese like I want my ex-president. Orange. Why is everything so boring? <laughs> All the times that I see this ingredient in recipes and I'm never able to buy it, here it is. <laughs> the Velveeta that I've been trying to replace with processed cheese. What even is this? Velveeta unboxing. <laughs> Wait, what it actually is? Can I open it? I'll just pay for it. No, I won't. Melts better and 50% less fat. <laughs> it's like jello, but it's cheese. It's like airplane cheese. <laughs> A cheese board at the International Space Station be like, I will eventually need that. I wouldn't consider that something that I need in my house. I'm trying to be cautious. So the eggs in America are refrigerated. That's interesting. And they're closed, you can't open the eggs. Wow. Whipped cream cheese? Now that's an idea. There's a strawberry cream cheese flavor. Okay, this is the part that I'm here for. These are creamers for coffee. By the way, creamer is not like a thing in Europe. Like, we don't really use creamer. We use milk or cream, not a creamer. And on top of that, these have like flavors. How could I even begin to pick one or two or 10? It's a lot, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, white chocolate. Yeah, I think that's the one. I saw this one that they had on TikTok and it was like cereal flavored. So I was kind of hoping to find that one. Wait, this one is ice cream flavor? I'm gonna bring the white chocolate, I think. So this is the frozen section, uh, which we have a few supermarkets to go to. So I have to, maybe not ice cream because it will melt until the end of the day. So I might have to save that for last, but let's have a look at pretzel hot dog. Good to know. Oh, a hot pocket? <laughs> Man, I haven't eaten one of those in like six years. Hot pocket is what my wallet is feeling right now. There's a lot of things here, a lot. Pizza, am I able to get pizza? I mean, best case scenario, the pizza makes it home, still frozen. Worst case scenario, pizza makes it home, cooked, win-win. <laughs> Let's see what kind of pizzas we can find. Stuffed crust. What? The croissant pizza? Flaky and buttery? I don't even care if this goes bad. You're coming home with me. Wow, I can't believe that's real. I'm like expecting to wake up now because only in a dream or nightmare, we'll find out soon. So that's the pizza section, which is good. I don't want to check the ice cream section because I'm going to save the ice cream for Walmart. This is... You can buy this pre-made? Wow, this would have made my life a whole lot easier. This is really good. This is great. This is more frozen, uh, it's like frozen breakfast. Uncrustables, how I be feeling when I don't get my regular moisturizer. This is like breakfast stuff. This is wild. They have a stuffed pancake? I'm fighting for my life here. These are pumpkin spice waffles. Yes, immediately yes. Mini pancake stuff with Nutella. Yes as well. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of waffles. Wow, this whole section is waffles. I've walked a marathon and we're still in the waffle section. I'm like, French toaster sticks? Wheat. So this is like meatballs and meat and stuff. I find this to be like basics that I want to get at Walmart so I don't get food poisoning. So maybe we should go, should we go to the breakfast cereal section? Yes. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't even go here. This is the candy section. I'm gonna walk like this and if something really catches my attention, you know that it's gonna be really good. 
gummy bears. I don't like wildlife. Honestly, the candy section is a little bit disappointing. I come in here and it's like, oh, Lily's gummy bears. Sugar-free gummy bears. Chocolate. Okay, this chocolate is literally the same that we've got in Europe. Like, this is exactly the same section. Not even a different flavor. Let's have a look at the chocolate section. I saw this thing on TV which was uh, Reese's Cups and there was potato chips inside and ever since I saw it, I've been dreaming about it. Like I just can't stop thinking about it. It's like, honestly, it's actually all I think about. No reason for concern. Anyways, I can't seem to find it anywhere. It's not here. The closest thing we've got to potato chip Reese's is uh, pretzel ones, which I do want them, but Maybe I will find it still today. We're on a mission to find the potato chip Reese's. We're on a mission to destroy my cholesterol levels. I'm kind of disappointed with the candy section. I really haven't seen anything that I find outrageous. Like, yes, my cholesterol levels will probably rise. I want something that will destroy my vascular system. I haven't found it yet. Let's see if there's a new uh, flavor for m &Ms. Milk chocolate. Brownie, uh, peanut. They don't even have my favorite ones, which are the crispy ones. Are these the crispy ones? No. Nope. Meat sticks. You've got my attention. <gasps> Wait. A tacky meat stick? A fuego meat stick. I want them. A teriyaki one? I didn't even know that existed. Okay, I kind of want both. I think I'm gonna bring the tacky one and I'm gonna save this one for another time. This is looking good. I'm gonna bring this. Nuts. Look at these nuts. I like the honey roasted flavored nuts. Those are always my favorite ones. I think, is this the brand that I like? I wish it was tiny little ones so I could taste it before committing to buying this. So this is Potato chips, pizza flavor. Oh my god, they have veggie chips? Made with broccoli? I am intrigued. I wouldn't say gross, but like, I do want it. Made with tomatoes? And carrots? And peas? That's the way to get me to eat vegetables, I guess. Chili and lime, sour cream, pizza. I'm gonna say that in Europe, our Pringles flavors are way more wild than this. We have roast chicken. There are insane flavors of Pringles in Europe. This, this is like a beginner's level. So let's see what else we can find from other brands. I have a love-hate relationship with Takis. I like Takis, but I also don't like Takis. The first Taki, I don't like it. And then the second one, it gets a little bit better. And then by the third one, the whole bag is finished. It's really confusing. It should be studied. I've never seen blue. <laughs> that looks spicy. It's a yes for me. Immediately yes. There's a good selection, I would say. Lunchables. Looking at Lunchables makes me think of the time that I had Lunchables for 24 hours, which honestly, was that really a challenge or was it just a day in my life? I can't remember which of the videos it was. I don't love Lunchables now. Am I better than everyone? A steamed marinated cauliflower. Turns out I am not better than everyone. Whoever buys that, it probably is. <gasps> Excuse me, what? I didn't even know pickles would grow this big. What is the brine made of? Steroids? I'm bringing, you're coming home with me. So chicken, hams, these kinds of things, uh, probably not from here, so I don't die with salmonella from this sitting in my car. This is possibly my favorite section of any supermarket, which is the cereal section. I just, I have been known for loving cereal. It's already a struggle, I want all of them. I'm giving myself the challenge of picking one only. Only one. Oh, this is so good. The technology of cereal keeps improving every year. And there's cake on the other side. This is when we get to the fun ones. When the name of the cereal starts with Captain, that's when you know. Oh wait, I can bring a selection of cereals. Wait. Never mind. It's a Golden Grams blend? Like a mix? It's like s'mores flavors. It's got marshmallows, chocolate, and Golden Grams. I don't have to 
think about it twice. This is cake, pancakes, syrups, and uh, jello. Jello. By the way, the amount of people who constantly offered to send me jello in the mail when I lived in England, thank you. Every single one of you. I can honestly say that I've probably received, I'm not exaggerating, 6,000 messages of people offering to send me jello. Whenever I feel like the whole world hates me, I think about that and that helps me sleep through the night. So thank you. Now I can buy my own jello. Think of the money that you guys can save. Wow. I hate being colorblind because immediately the vanilla jello is green to me and like that, it doesn't look appetizing. Is this green? No. I think the pistachio one is probably the weirdest one that I actually would kind of like to try because I've never seen this one. This one is green. So I'm gonna bring the pistachio one. The other ones are a little bit boring. I don't know what is going on. Why is there cake and frosting in the same container? It is genius. This is like the baking section. Honestly, all this stuff, it's going to be its own video. I've got so many ideas for this kind of stuff, so you will see that. Betty Crocker, she's got the monopoly on cake frosting, and it's a good frosting, but one day that will be me. It will be my frosting. I'm going to single-handedly end Betty Crocker. I think we're approaching the end for this one here. There's only the fresh produce section, which we might have a look. We might do the vegetables and the fresh stuff at Walmart. This is basically like the last section, and what a way to end this. Are these deep fried donuts? Why do they look like deep fried donuts? Do you hear that? It's the watering of the fresh produce, which is also how they control our minds, which is also how we're watching this right now. It's all in the midst of the fruit vegetable conspiracy theory. <laughs> There's these products here, which are called the, the Little Debbie products, which so good. Every single one of them that I've ever tried from Little Debbie, incredible. I do wanna bring zebra cakes, or like they say it, zebra cakes. I do want them, but I also like, man, there's just so many things. Wait, I think these are the traditional ones. Are these new? Do you remember her? This is her now. Time flies. Oh wait, they have a unicorn one? The stuff that says unicorn on it, it literally always gets me with the branding. I always want to buy it. Then I bite into it and it tastes like Play-Doh infused anything. It just tastes artificial, but it's sparkling strawberry. It says one of a kind. Nothing to see, let's carry on. I was ready for checkout and look what I found. It's potato chips Reese's. Now everyone knows that I wasn't dreaming, that I wasn't lying. This is a real product. I'm gonna, no, I'm just gonna bring two of them because I do think I'm gonna like these. As soon as I get to the car, I am trying one of these. I need to know what this is all about. Potato chips, peanut butter, chocolate. Honestly, not a whole lot of room to go wrong here. Let's pay. Keeps going. That was officially my first grocery kind of purchase that I've made in the US and it was a total of $83.06. This was how much stuff I bought. It's quite a lot of things honestly and I did pick like branded stuff like everything is basically a novelty item so it is expensive but I honestly was kind of thinking in my head like a hundred dollars so it was a little bit cheaper than what I was expecting. I mean I was prepared for the wars so Mentally, I knew what I came here for. I'm gonna put the groceries in the back seat because is the back of a car air conditioned? Does anyone know? If it isn't, it should be. Okay. Keep in mind, this is one out of three, so I've already got carried away, sort of. I cannot wait to go to Walmart. I think Walmart's gonna be the best part of the day. It's the reason why I woke up in the morning. It is a cultural reset. If I was doing this American style, well, that's it. Um, the card stays here.
You see it? It just stays right here. Honestly, I actually feel like it's too organized. Let me make it a little bit more like annoying for cars parking. I need to place it perfectly so that when someone comes to park here, they have to get out of the car and move it and then park. That would be the American way. It's just not me. It's really not that difficult. I don't get it. So this was our first stop, which was mostly fun items. That was the way I saw my Target grocery shopping. I bought a lot of weird stuff. I mean, I do want to try these. Keep in mind, if it might seem that my grocery shopping is of a four-year-old with a credit card, it's because it's true. <laughs> no, it's because I've just moved here and it's normal. They're like, you know, I want to try a lot of things and maybe if you saw these things every day in the supermarket, you'd be like, I don't really care. But it's just, I guess, the fun of the video, really. What I'm trying to say is, don't judge me. The blue tacky. They're not even that spicy. New look, same intensity. Well, more like new look, no intensity. I don't get it. They're blue, that's about it. A lot of things that I got, I have to actually cook them, like the mac and cheese. I might do this like on a separate video, but the one thing that you guys know that has been my life mission is the Reese's potato chips. Milk chocolate and peanut butter stuffed with potato chips. It's like a giant <laughs> Reese's. So That's bloody lovely. <laughs> the potato doesn't potato as much as I would like it to potato. It's crunchy. It tastes very similar to a regular Reese's with a random crunch that is almost flavorless. I love being a snack review channel. It's kind of too soft now. I feel like this needs to go in the fridge because it's not very enjoyable as it is. Overall, not bad, but I am a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna try all these things, guys. I just wanted to show you the things that we talked about in there before I forget. This is insane. This has to be like a giant jar of pickles even for someone in America, right? We have more supermarkets to go to. I am not even halfway through my grocery shopping experience, guys. So, don't you worry. I just wanna... Oh, this is like the worst game of Jenga. It's so filled up. Oh, this is not even the biggest one. Wait, that was anticlimactic. This is the biggest one? Thank God this is a car rental. Sorry, car rental people. I expected crunchier. This is a problem with buying things from the look of it. <laughs> By the way, uh, stay tuned to find out if the croissant pizza is going to rise by the end of the day. This will become puffed up by the end of the day. I have a tiny little bit of coffee left that I kind of saved for this. Why am I running a Starbucks from the back seat of my car? Let's try the white chocolate. How do you open this? Wait, is that it? It's inspired by the white market chocolate, so it's not exactly the same. I was kind of expecting this to be what they actually use at Starbucks, so I guess I was a little bit bamboozled. This is inspired, not the actual product. Do taste inspired. I do like the lid of it, it's kind of cool. It's creamer, so you're not supposed to add too much. Probably for this amount of coffee, this is way too much. It went very light very quickly. Let's give it a try. Did someone just hit the car? Anyways. I can't taste it. Oh, closed. Yeah, this coffee might not be the best one. I think it's really old coffee. You know, it's pretty good. I love how I did the creamer and then the coffee. Still better blended than most baristas at Starbucks. I said what I said. I would say to their face, in fact, I have. <sighs> so that was our Target experience. I liked it. How could I forget about the Takis meat sticks? Okay, that's pretty good. It's meat and it actually does taste like Takis. It's almost too much like Takis. I do like it. It's strangely delicious. 
I am so confused. It's like eating a soft, meaty tacky. So like I said, this was our first stop and we were looking for mostly like novelty special items. I think that's exactly what we got, so that was successful to me. Keeping in mind what we were looking for, I would give Target a 7 out of 10, just because I wish there was a little bit more variety, because obviously the grocery section is quite small, so that does make sense that there wasn't as much variety. And obviously the price, it was $80 for all of this stuff, which it's okay. I don't think it's a great deal, but for that reason, a 7 out of 10 seems appropriate. I actually really liked most of the items that I tried. I'm gonna find out all the other ones. For the next grocery store that I want to go to, I want to go to like an organic product store because I want to give you like the full grocery shopping experience. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing next. So the good thing with shopping carts is you just have to look around and there will be one somewhere. Usually you don't have to move too much. I see one. I was joking but this actually works every time. <laughs> Who does this? Honestly though, if you do this, I don't think we could be friends. I honestly think this is like the ultimate test of whether I could be friends with you. My idea for this one is mostly vegetables, maybe like fresh things, like good quality things, because I think these products in these like organic stores are more expensive. I've been told this one is one of the most expensive ones. We're not going for the basics here. We're gonna jump through all this stuff, even though I see lots of new things. The dangerous thing in like organic supermarkets is you want everything and you also don't feel bad about getting everything. I'm like, but it's made with quinoa, oat flour. What else? Uh, I can't think of any more healthy items. Pea flour? Okay, so we're gonna go down to the fresh section, basically. There is a fresh sushi section, like freshly prepared sushi that looks like restaurant quality. So I know we came here mostly for produce stuff, but I just, I can't look at it and not buy it. Look at the material. Wait. Imitation crab? This looks insane. It's a yes. They are prepared. Oh, I love this. This is one of my favorite things ever. It's a seaweed salad. I know we came here for produce. We will get to the vegetables. I promise you, I will buy the vegetables. I swear, mom. I'll buy it. Here we are at the vegetable fruit section. I've been living of fast food for a few weeks now. It's embarrassing. I don't want to tell you for how long that's been going on. So I do actually want to get vegetables and fruit. It's one of the things that I need to buy the most. And this, it's looking really good. Everything's ready to eat and chopped up. For me, this one, $10? Look, <laughs> maybe I'll get a little one. No, I'm joking. It's actually funny. It's quite a lot of fruit. It's quite a lot, right? It's a lot. It's worth it. Oh my god, that is so satisfying. That is the smoothest pineapple I have ever seen. <laughs> this is so heavy. <laughs> watermelon, I have a love-hate relationship with watermelon. The thing about watermelon is I want to be into it, but I'm just not. I'll be here for a while. Play elevator music. Maybe watermelon tastes different in America. I'm gonna bring it. I already know Everyone's gonna call me an idiot because I bought the watermelon already sliced when you can buy a whole watermelon. But if you had the knife skills of myself and Kendall Jenner, then you would buy it sliced. Actually, that's the only option that I've got. So I'm gonna buy the sliced one, but I do wanna get other fruits as well. I am interested in this. Honey roasted chocolate peanut butter. What's the price? 15,000 calories. <laughs> oh, 3.99. A gamble but I love a casino I don't really like apples I've never eaten an apple I I don't think I've ever eaten an apple in my life <laughs> wait I've never eaten an apple I've eaten apple things with apple in it when you realize that something doesn't need to change we can't keep doing this forever I don't have health insurance anymore <laughs> no longer free health insurance I need to start getting the apples I have never seen this for sale. <laughs> Do you bite into it? Kinda wanna try it. I feel like I would like it. Do I just put this in here? It feels like I'm playing Animal Crossing. This is possibly my favorite fruit of all time. 
and I never ever have it. In the UK it's really hard to find this for sale, so I don't know if it's because the weather here is like tropical or whatever, but I'm gonna bring it. I'm making a whole lot of funky selections, but it's why I am mom, it's not a phase. We have to really watch out for the Karens, like, I'm joking, but they will kick us out and they will call the police on us for filming. Let's check out the juice section. I feel like that's always a good thing to buy in one of these like healthy supermarkets rather than Target and Walmart. So it's not made from concentrate or whatever it's called. This is a sugar-free lemonade made from real lemons. 5% of it made from real lemons. But you know what? 5% is better than 0%, so they gotta make a profit. Let's get like spicy ginger shots. There is nothing that I like more than a ginger shot. Especially when it's overpriced. Four dollars? <laughs> Four dollars? I can't imagine people doing their full groceries here, to be honest. Like, just to rewind back, you can buy mac and cheese for 50 cents, and you can buy 50 milliliters of ginger juice for four dollars. I'm totally okay with this. This is like fine. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one. 3.29. The steel. It's kind of looking like when I have to pee in a cup for blood tests, I have peed in exactly the same cup. Vegan snacks are like the best kind of snacks. I love when vegan meat tastes so fake that it's so good. I can't explain it. Vegan cheese, 10 out of 10. All of this, 10 out of 10. I don't have a lot of stuff in my shopping cart and I already know that this is gonna amount to, so far, $80 immediately. I'm just gonna get some carrots. Uh, nothing to see, just an average amount of carrots. My car stopped moving. It wants to stop me from spending money. I think we've reached the limit. For me, it's when the vegetables are being watered in real time. That's like what you know. Why is this lettuce $3? Wait, am I crazy or is this very expensive for lettuce? These are miniature cucumbers with fungus growing on it. These are like perfect size bell peppers. I didn't know that bell peppers existed in this miniature size. I love miniature things. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Immediately, yes. I'm gonna bring a cucumber as well. Contrary to popular belief, I do eat vegetables. I think we're done. We've got the watermelon, we've got the dragon fruit, we've got cut up fruit and one of these. I just wanna use it for something. Maybe I'll put in a smoothie with the... Ouch, just been attacked. The best thing about uh, health food stores, their bakery section is always the best bakery section. Wait, why are the cakes frozen? Is this frozen? I don't want to be dramatic, but these are probably the ugliest cakes I've ever seen. <laughs> like, the only acceptable time for you to bring this to me is if it's my funeral. And even then, I'd probably be mad. There's an Oreo ice cream cake. I repeat, there's an Oreo ice cream cake. I'm gonna fight that man for it. There's one last one. I'm, I'm gonna fight him. <laughs> Wait. There's a giant Oreo inside. A dream that I didn't even know I had. And this is a, another dream that I didn't even know I had. I wish I was going home after because you'd be coming home with me. You'd be coming home with me. That was the highlight of my day, I think. The bakery section is possibly the best. Look at this Mickey K. If you can't decide which cake do you want, you can get all four. Oh, incredible. I think we're good for here. I need to remind myself that we've got other places to go to. Thank you. In comparison to before, this looks, uh, you know, not a whole lot. The total was... 53. That's not too bad. It's 10 items for $53. Technically, fruit and vegetables should be the cheaper items? I guess not. I mean, I guess they did buy them already pre-sliced. If you don't buy them a la Kendall Jenner, then this might come out cheaper. And that was the vegetable produce part of our grocery shopping. Still got space and the croissant pizza, it, it's rising. It's, it's rising faster than Jesus on Easter. Well, for me, it's the aloe vera uh, sticking out. Oh. 
honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I do think the prices of vegetables and fruits is way more expensive than in England at least, that's my comparison. But there is a lot more options as well here, so I don't really know what to tell you. I'm not the best person to ask about prices because a lot of the times the lights are on but nobody's home. So we got our fruit and vegetables, a dragon fruit. <laughs> I mean, the most random thing that I bought was this. I honestly truly just want to know, is this edible? I was going to get home and Google it. Can you just buy it into aloe vera? Should I just do it? I mean, I didn't even wash this. Could I die? Oh, it's like snot on the inside. It doesn't taste bad though. It kind of tastes like deodorant. Freshen up from the inside out. <laughs> That should be their slogan. Their sales would go up by like a lot. It is stressful grocery shopping in hot weather. I am. That is good lemonade and sugar free. I go grocery shopping one time at a healthy food store. I change my whole personality. Suddenly I go jogging at 6 a.m. and I shop at Lululemon. It's not even a brand, I'm so confused. Suddenly yoga pants are all I wear. The best part about healthy food stores, even though they are expensive, they make amazing food, especially foods that kind of have to be prepared there. This is made with imitation crab. If this is a price for imitation crab, imagine the original. <laughs> that made me laugh. These chopsticks feel expensive. Wow, they would never give you these at Walmart. This is sturdier than IKEA furniture. There's glass noodles inside the sushi. She is the moment. Mm. Wow, it's so good. And the pickled ginger? I don't even need the soya sauce. That's how good this is. Wow. I don't know how much this cost, but it was worth it. $8.99. Okay, maybe, <laughs> no, it was worth it. It's just poorly cut. This is incredible. There's nothing more annoying than going to an overpriced store and enjoying it. It ruins my day every time. I usually buy these fruits and what I do is I put them in the freezer and then I eat them frozen. My body's probably like, we haven't seen fruit in two months. These are so good. The flavor is amazing. I don't know what I should do with this blueberry. Should I throw it at a child? Wait, it's a Tesla next door. I've never had blueberries and raspberries that taste this intense. This almost is artificial, like it's not real. I'm gonna put this in the freezer when I get home and then I'll just enjoy them frozen. So it's not a complete waste of $9. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. My seaweed salad. I think seaweed salads is one of those dishes that I think it's actually very underrated. Everyone loves sushi. No one ever talks about the seaweed salad. It is so good. It has to be made right though. I don't like all of them. I've had really gross ones. Don't ask me what seaweed salad is made of. I have no idea. Is this seaweed in glass noodles? Is it just seaweed? I don't know. Mm. This is so good. This is one of my favorite foods ever. It's got like sesame seeds in it, but also sesame oil. So the whole thing is like toasty. I wouldn't say peanutty, because it is. And the texture, I just love biting into. Jelly noodles, that's the best way to describe it. I would rate this supermarket Publix a solid 9 out of 10. Just literally because of the price. That is the only reason why it's not 10 out of 10. The variety was incredible and the foods are already prepared. It's perfect for someone like me who is lazy and I don't really have a lot of time, you know, to be chopping up, peeling vegetables. So, nine out of 10. Every time summer comes around, I convince myself that I'm gonna enjoy watermelon for the first time and then I never do. I dropped the sushi. I dropped the $10 sushi on top of Little Debbie. No. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over this. Pour me a shot. Stronger.
Welcome to Walmart. I have picked the worst possible time to come to Walmart. If I thought it was bad, the other supermarkets, there is a queue to go inside. But like I said, I do need groceries. I do need to get some of my basic things. So we're going in and it's starting to rain as well. Everything lining up for this perfect shopping experience. Play horror music. This is my worst nightmare. There are about 500 people in here and I didn't bring my face mask. I'm gonna start at the end of the supermarket and make my way down. I'm here for essential things like... What are essential things? Is any of this worth it? The thing about Walmart, it's loud, but it's as big as it is loud. <laughs> and there's so many products. This is just the milk section, you know, starts over there. 500 kilometers away from me and all the way to there like very far away and I've been shouted at by people like four times so I love this shopping experience so I actually need milk in to get a few basic things so uh, I'm not the biggest fan of like milk alternatives I like regular milk so I'm thinking of bringing I'm gonna bring this one I feel like the other ones were more fun. This one is just me doing my actual grocery shopping. <laughs> How do people even know the difference between all these milks? There should be a nut milk, a oat milk, a cow milk. And that's about as far as I can go. Maybe a rice milk if you want to be spicy. They have a lot of options for creamers here. Rice Krispie Treats? Golden Grahams flavored creamer. Suddenly my essentials starting to line up. The prices are definitely better here. This is 60 cents and this is four dollars. I feel like if we're at Target, this would be four dollars and this would be... You wouldn't even have the option. You'd have to go bankruptcy. There's a lot of interesting flavors for yogurt. Like this one is caramel apple pie. This one is banana cream. Just banana cream. Variety wise, even for these essential things, it's... It's looking good, Walmart. It's looking really good. I would consider this an essential. This is the cookie section. That's an essential, right? I have never seen such a selection for Oreos. There are lemon Oreos? That's not even an Oreo anymore. There's a toffee crunch. That sounds kind of interesting. I'm not gonna get these things because I'm trying to make like grocery options now, but this is so tempting. I literally want every flavor of this. I'm gonna just walk away from it. My weakness is soft baked cookies. These are so difficult to find. Well, now they're easy to find, so I don't really need them. They have a confetti one though. I can't say no to this. This is an essential, right? If it says birthday cake on it, it's an essential. There's about a million flavors of Cheez-Its. There's a buffalo wing <laughs> flavor. The last one. I'm intrigued. It's naturally flavored. What does that mean exactly? Did they put the chicken wing in a blender and then turn into a powder? and then sprinkle it on the cheeses. Let's think about it later. We're going by vibes, not thoughts. We can't get the buffalo wing cheeses without... This is not even a popular item here, and every time that I use this in videos, people are like, we don't really eat that. Like, I don't know why you think that's a thing. But I do want to try it. All these bakery items, I'm not sure if these are like freshly baked here, but this is like Walmart's own brand and they're three dollars for like 12. That's a pretty good deal, right? What is this? A, a snowball? Is it like marshmallow? Was she laughing at me? Because I've never seen a pink snowball. Is it marshmallow? If it's marshmallow, I want it. Essentials. How does this cost three dollars? There's like 10 in here. I was looking for butter and I was like, I'm not sure which brand because like this to me is like completely foreign. Like I don't know which one it is. I can't believe it's not butter. Neither do I. I can't believe it's real. This is a squeezy butter. I do want it, but like, what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna make a whole video on the strangest products, which will be separate from my groceries. I thought the other supermarkets had a lot of options, then I died and I arrived in heaven of options. There's just so many things, like, everything is like wildly flavored. I actually wanna try everything. This is dark chocolate mixed with chili pepper. 
I feel like that would be a good idea. I think those two things do go together. I don't even know what some of these things are. Like fruit smiles. I have no idea. Is it is it drinkable? Is it edible? Is it breathable? Is it all three? Who knows? Brands that I knew before, like Arizona, I know they make tea. I didn't realize they make fruit snacks. Whatever it is. What is a fruit snack? There's about six different sizes of every item, which somehow it's perfect because sometimes I want the miniature ones. Like these are like so tiny. Then there's medium. Then there's this. And then there's that. So the same product exists in six different varieties. This is like the greatest thing ever. Okay. It's a box that is $10 of every potato chip that exists in Flaming Hot. Flaming Hot is literally like that. Sh when you live by the tracks. I do want it. So this is like all the potato chips. There's so many options. I don't know how people do this. I generally want to buy everything. $2.29 only. There's flaming hot popcorn. <laughs> Why is it so big? I just want to try it. I swear I have this written down for a video idea. They have flaming hot Cheetos actual branding of popcorn and cheddar. I'm going to need a bigger shopping cart if I'm going to buy every flaming hot product by the looks of it. We need to get some dips because we do have some Doritos here. If you can't decide between a uh, cheese dip or salsa, don't worry, they make cheese and salsa in one. I can't even imagine that tasting good and I'm still gonna buy it. They're probably relying on everyone purchasing this for the first time. It's keeping the product alive. There's a whole section for syrups. We got a whole lot of syrup here. <gasps> and crunchy bits to put on top of your syrup. You can do the peanut center of Reese's and then the chocolate, the crunchy bit. And look, it goes crunchy after. This is some technology that I'm not sure if we're ready for this as society. Whenever it says unicorn, I want it. It's a unicorn magic shell. Put it away. Let's just walk away from the syrups. We've already got flaming hot popcorn, so I think I'm good for popcorn. <gasps> First of all, second of all, honestly, any of these could be third of all. It's too much power. To the consumer. Okay, I want you guys to guess in the comment section how much do you think this is? I'm honestly interested if anyone's gonna guess it. Pause the video, comment below. What is the price for almost one kilogram of <laughs> flaming hot cheese balls? Seven dollars. I don't even know if this is a lot or not. My brain wants me to think that it's cheap because it's quite a lot, but it, isn't that kind of expensive? This supermarket is playing games with my head. I think this is gonna end up being the most expensive one in the end. Or the cheapest. No in between. The infamous section of the Pringles. I'm actually surprised. I think the flavors for Pringles, I don't know, is Pringles an European company? Because that would make sense because it's so normal in comparison to the flavors that we've got. That's the only thing. Every other product, it's like a million varieties. Pringles are just what I'm expecting. They've got pizza, dill pickle, cheddar, barbecue. The weirdest one they've got is probably this one, which is parmesan and roasted garlic. That is possibly the strangest one. Do we want this? I do want to try them. $1.70. Okay. This is a long one. I'm going to be tired by the time I get to the end. I'm going to be like, I have to catch my breath, have a sip of water, take a nap, drink the ginger shot that I bought earlier. Let's see what we've got. They have the cinnamon toast churros, which are like the crunchiest, most satisfying cereal shape, flavor, scent. Like they're just the best. These are really good cereal. I've tried them before. I kind of wanted to get something new. I'm only going to commit to one box of cereal because it takes me ages to eat it. So I don't know which one I'm going to go with. I can't even believe this is real. Is this real? Is any of this real? Like they even have retro golden grams from the 80s. Like what? <laughs> How can you do your grocery shopping in this country and be tempted with this every day of your life and not go crazy? Even little Debbie has cosmic brownie cereal. 
I'm sorry for dropping sushi on you earlier. I could be entirely wrong about this, but I actually think that the majority of people in America have no idea that this, this is wild. Like, emphasis on wild. This doesn't exist anywhere else. This is unheard of. Jojo Siwa cereal? Pokemon cereal? And actually, my personal favorite, Minecraft cereal. I'm gonna be eating the Minecraft cereal like... I got too overwhelmed with the choices, so I'm going with the Golden Grams. But these are like the retro recipe. So I think this is like back in the day kind of recipe. It uses like real honey. I guess that implies that the current Golden Grams use fake honey. <gasps> A miniature frying pan for $5? Both of them? <laughs> Wait, how is this $5? Me when an intruder comes to my house in the middle of the night. To me sleeping with my frying pan next to my bedside table. I thought there was a lot of syrups earlier. No, just film this. <laughs> like, what? What is a Dunkaroo? Does anyone even know what a Dunkaroo is? It should be illegal how much I want all of this. We're approaching my first grocery shopping experience with humor, but I genuinely find it really difficult to see all these exciting, weird new products and not buy them. I physically would not be able to put all this amount of like sugar, whatever this is made of, all in my body. I'm gonna knock myself out here already and just end the video. <laughs> I'm not bringing this, but like how wild is this? Should we just inject cane sugar straight into my veins and just call it a day. <laughs> I'm gonna put my, my frying pan in my pocket and just call it a day. I've had it <laughs> This is the pasta section because obviously we do want to get some pasta. It's like an essential to keep at home. I'm honestly scared of what kind of pasta there's gonna be here. Will I really see something that I've never seen before? And immediately, yes. This is pasta made with cauliflower. What is the definition of a hate crime? There's a lot of uh, pasta shapes. There are more types of mac and cheese than there are of pasta in general, which is really confusing. Surprisingly, the brands for pasta are actually pretty similar, I think. Does this come from Italy? I think so. We're getting there. I was about to go and check the meat section and the first thing I see is a half-eaten drumstick. Welcome to Walmart. I don't want to alarm anyone, but uh, should the chicken be puffed up? <laughs> like, doesn't that mean it's bad? Maybe we're gonna go back to the organic store to buy the chicken tomorrow. Is this ham? Where did I get this from? Tyrannosaurus Rex? <laughs> Peppa Pig, I'm so sorry. This is huge. I actually find that most of the meat, like the chicken, it was pretty the standard size, contrary to what people would think. But this, that's my whole torso. So this is the candy section. I don't think I've ever tried the Hershey's Kisses before. I also don't think that I would like it. They have Twix cookies and cream flavor. That's a serious contender. So far, this one. This is Blueberry Muffin Kit Kat. You can also use it as a back scratcher. It's kind of like a two-in-one product. This is s'mores flavored cotton candy. It actually looks so good. And then the top one is strawberry lemonade and this one is watermelon. Ingredients, sugar. I'm gonna go with the Twix cookies and cream. Just because I've never seen this before. I don't know if they're new. It looks really good. It's like the creamy bit of the Oreo on top and then the chocolate bit of the Oreo in the bottom. I hope it's gonna be like soft crunchy, creamy. I was initially going to get some chicken and like fresh meat. At least this Walmart might not be the place to get it. Like I think there's a lot of people here so they get stuff out of the fridge and it doesn't look good. Honestly come for me but I am not getting salmonella just because I don't want to offend anyone but like this is not it. So I might go to a different supermarket for meat. Your local Walmart is probably fine. Mine isn't. <laughs> Instead I'm gonna get some extra frozen things. Maybe like uh like fried chicken and stuff like that you can put in the oven. I am so tired of this. Cauliflower onion rings. I have a message for the world. Please stop transforming cauliflower into things cauliflower does not want to be. Cauliflower is fine. Cauliflower needs to accept and love itself as cauliflower and not onion rings or rice or pasta or pizza. Let cauliflower be cauliflower. Please. I kind of want them though. <laughs> I am part of the problem. The bread section is crazy. There's so many types of bread. I've never seen this before, but like, 
when you have a cinnamon bread, do you guys eat this? Is it for like chocolate spread or is it like, would you eat a chicken sandwich with cinnamon bread? Please let me know. This will keep me up at night. Someone please slide to my DMs and tell me. I'm not gonna buy it, I just wanna know. I don't know what these are called, but I always like them. Buying bread is very overwhelming. There's so many options here. This bread, 88 cents, none left. This bread, 2.98. I could buy three of those. How is this? This is insane. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, it's a honey wheat keto friendly bread. That's the one. This is the frozen meals, like ready meal section. In Europe, ready meals are usually refrigerated, not frozen, but here they're frozen. I prefer it, they last longer. So this is basically foods that are already made. I live off this. This is my everyday. I kind of want to get the ones that are like made by restaurants, like TGI Fridays, fried chicken, like the branded ones. I always think they're really good. Let's see. That's a whole lot of mac and cheese. This is heavier than me. No joke, no punchline. It is heavier than me. There are a lot of good options. This is the best section so far. I love frozen food. Hungry man, country fried chicken. They're gonna have to pay me royalties. <laughs> it's a corn dog <laughs> made of pancakes and sausage. <laughs> that sounds really good. I love pancakes. I love sausage. Why not? It's just, why is there so many? I want two of them. I want to try it before I buy it. Make this beginner friendly. <laughs> there are a lot of like breakfasty things here. These unicorn products, they follow me. It's tempting each time. I think I already bought two types of waffles. I think I got a pumpkin spice ones. Oh, and the ones pancakes filled with uh, an Italian side. I'm trying to decide in between hot pockets and burritos. Similar structurally flavor completely different the good thing about the burrito ones is you can buy just one i've never had these items so i don't know which ones are the ones that i like which ones am i not going to like so obviously this is great if you're like a family of like a lot of people Ugh. like but it's just me like imagine you buy one of these and you're like okay that tastes like what am i gonna do then i'm gonna bring chicken and cheese and beef and cheese and then I'm gonna figure out which one I like. I don't know if you guys have ever had one of these but it's like a microwave burrito. Okay so I found the TGI Friday products that I was looking for. I was actually looking for the fried chicken but I don't think they have any fried chicken. I already got the onion rings so maybe not this. It's just it's so many things that I ended up buying nothing. I say that with that in the background. <laughs> Farm rich, that's how you need to be to shop with all this variety. <laughs> I'm gonna do one last thing, which is ice cream, and I'm gonna only pick one ice cream. The best thing so far, my frying pan. I love it. So let's get some ice cream. I wanna get a crazy ice cream, but also I wanna get something that I will realistically eat for like the next week, two weeks, I don't know. I love butter pecan flavor. It's like one of my favorite flavors and it only exists here in America. Oh, I saw the unicorn. Nope, keep driving, keep driving. We can't entertain this unicorn. I haven't found the right one yet. I chipped Sahoy ice cream. I feel like I should check the reviews first because I don't want to commit to this. Like this is insane. This is enough for like two weeks maybe. I think the main brand is Blue Bell. Wait, do you remember that controversy with the ice cream that someone licked it? Does this come sealed? It doesn't. I think I'm gonna go for this one. And on that note, a very high one, soprano, if you will. <laughs> this is the last thing that I'm gonna buy and... Honestly, are these essentials? Probably not. Am I crying and screaming on the inside? Yes, I am. This is what we got from Walmart, which actually ended up being probably as much as I got from the other two supermarkets like put together. Like I actually ended up buying a lot and I know everyone's interested in the price. The total for everything that we bought from Walmart was $51.95. I'm gonna go out and say that looking at this amount and looking at the amount of stuff I have in the back, Walmart is the cheapest, so overall I'm gonna give my Walmart experience a 6 out of 10 because while the price was actually better than the other ones, I didn't think it was that much better. 
just more options and that obviously included cheaper items. But I also found that I went at the wrong time. Had I gone to a different Walmart or just at like, I don't know, in the morning, on a Tuesday at 4 a.m. I think this would have been a 10 out of 10. I generally mean that. Along with the popcorn, the thing that I was the most excited to try from Walmart, my gourmet flaming hot box. It's a lot in here. I think it was like $7 and it does come with a lot, just loads of miniature ones. So there's five different types and there's still plenty more in here. These are like my favorites. I've eaten so many of these since I've arrived in America, so. So good. Then we've got these. I'm so used to these being cheesy flavored, like natural cheese. This is really weird. The texture, in my opinion, doesn't go with flaming Hot. I do like them. These I've never had before. Chester's flaming Hot Fries. I wouldn't know what the difference is between the regular ones. I think these will taste the same. I'm not sure. It's kind of an in between the puffed up ones and the regular flaming hot Cheetos, but also kind of tastes like onion rings. I do like them a lot. Are these gonna be my new favorite ones? Maybe. Then we've got the Fritos ones. Oh, I've had these before. Never mind. Just not the flaming hot flavor. That doesn't go. I don't like these. These are like a zero out of ten. Wait, I got some salsa for this. So this is our salsa mixed with nacho cheese. When you're an immigrant like me, <laughs> a lot of these things are me seeing them for the first time. And I know people will make fun of me in the comment section, like, how have you never seen that? But I don't want to pretend like I've seen these things before or like I'm not excited about them just to sound cooler. So I'm excited about salsa and nacho cheese put together with Doritos Flame Hot. I did buy fruit and vegetables, you guys saw. Don't come for me. That's so weird, a flaming hot Doritos. I've never seen that. Okay, we need a water. A broken tortilla chip. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Where have you been my whole life? This is so good. This is the best thing that I've eaten, not only this entire video, but since I've arrived to America. The combination of this and that, it's perfect 15 out of 10 i was today years old when i found out you have flaming hot popcorn i do want to make a full video out of a lot of these weird products that maybe are actually not that weird for you guys but they are to me mostly i want to try them and then i have to come up with a video that allows me to try them <laughs> without feeling bad about eating them and spending the money on them <laughs> Wait, I don't know if this is appetizing or not, like bright red popcorn. Oh my god, this is so weird. This is so good. <laughs> this is really good. That is seasoned to perfection. I love how I'm describing this the same way Gordon Ramsay describes a steak on MasterChef and this is popcorn. It's so good. I just love flaming Hot anything. This is incredible. Oh no! No! Ugh, this is so annoying. I put my Diet Cokes together with my bread and now my bread is like deflated. This is me excited to post a video and then after I read the comments, this is how I leave the comment section. Trying my best to spring back to my original mental health. I need to provide this. How is anyone gonna know whether these are edible or not other than me spending the money to try it <laughs> so I can let you know? These are buffalo wing flavored cheeses. It smells like buffalo wings, which honestly, I kind of like buffalo wings, so this is kind of perfect. And this is cheese in a can. And I already know, everyone always lets me know that Americans don't actually eat cheese in a can, but I'll tell you one thing. I saw a few people buying this while I was there for five seconds. What is the truth? <laughs> this is genius, no waste. Wow, it is squirty and it is cheese and it is in my mouth. Honestly, I like it. It's kind of like natural cheese flavor. I really like it. <laughs> it's kind of sweet, weirdly. It's almost like a 
I don't even know how to describe it. I saw this hack which was like it comes out of the hole or something, like you squirt the cheese through the hole. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's get a cheese it and... Pretty good. <laughs> I don't know which flavor is which. It's like a perfect combination. This actually goes really well together. I like it. I do want to taste this golden grams. It says here that this is a limited edition only. I'm well aware that you guys don't have all these things available all the time. I'm sorry if this video is offensive to anyone. I'm just excited. I don't want to make fun of anyone. We're just having fun not making fun. So you're supposed to have this with coffee. It's like a creamer, but obviously we're just gonna taste it. <laughs> this is dangerous because I would drink this like a smoothie. I would be like, I love Tropicana. <laughs> it literally tastes like the cereal milk, but it's sweeter. It's almost too sweet, I'm gonna be honest. I wish it was a little bit toned down. It does taste like golden grams without being artificial. With my coffee and milk in the morning, this is gonna be incredible. So I have a lot of groceries to put away in case you haven't noticed. Look at all the groceries and there's more on the floor. So this is gonna be a lot of work, but there is nothing more satisfying than organized foods when your cupboards are empty it's just the best so i am going to enjoy every second of this thank you for essentially hanging out with me for the day it was my first time ever buying groceries ever since i moved here permanently like as a is it a resident a citizen i don't i don't know the meaning of the words but as someone who lives in america this is my first time going and doing a big grocery shopping i'm sure i'm never gonna buy most of these items again but I was excited and I don't know, I just, it is what it is. Choices were made and my body will most likely pay for them. If you thought this was fun, I thought that maybe for the next video, I could be going to a restaurant, which I haven't been to an actual physical restaurant yet. It'd basically be my first time going to a restaurant since I've moved here. So if that sounds like something that you wanna watch, you know what to do, give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and switch the notifications on just so you don't miss out on the future video. But also, if this was boring and annoying, and it probably was, please let me know as well. That's fine. We can maybe get a group discount for therapy. I hope you guys had fun. I love you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.